Recently I had posted a video that had some sweep arpeggios in it and uh, some people were asking about sweeps and asked me if I would post a video breaking down uh, sweep arpeggios which uh, again uh, like I said I'm, I don't claim to be the best at them uh, when, I was a, when I was a teenager I spent a lot of time working on them I don't really play that type of stuff too much anymore but um, I know a lot of guitar players out there want to want to learn how to sweep and and struggle with it so I wanted to kind of do a uh, a video of, of my version of sweep bar pages because a lot of different people have different different versions of it but what I generally do is uh, my how I've always learned to, to sweep was basically out of a, out of what I call like a fifth string position as opposed to a, a sixth string position but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by breaking it down kind of uh, in a couple different steps and then we'll put the whole thing together into uh, into a like a full three octave type of, uh, of sweep but the best way to start and we're gonna work on the A minor arpeggio which is A, C and E and for this particular version of it, it's gonna be inverted so we're gonna go with uh, E with E A C and E work on just that aspect of it because that's really the top end of it. Is and we're going to start off with just the top. So the best way to do this would be if you look at my right hand is just it's all it's going to be down so where normally you would pick these notes is how you would normally do it. we sweep it we're going all one direction so we're gonna go all up all down <laughs> hammer on pull off So it's just all down. So once you work on that and you get that to where that's comfortable. You can add in the bottom notes. A and C on the bottom. So A, C, E, and then... Shot scoot up. So you just put a little gap at the top for the pull up, but other than that, it's just straight up. Paying attention to my right hand. Left hand is just And you can also take that and turn it into a major the same way instead of A C we go A C sharp E minor okay and then after you get that then you can go down to the lower extension let me see if I can get all this in one screen Again, 
him. I'll show you the right hand. Hopefully that helps out, um, gives you something to work on. But anyway, just remember, like I said, it's all just one steady motion. Again, what we're doing on the lower extension down here, though, is you got two down picks, and then pinky, and then slot, and then slide. I think I did on that video and then I just basically followed it up with a D minor arpeggio. Same thing, just starting on D. So, hopefully that helps. I know it's, um, it's not hard to do. It's just something that just takes time. You just got to do it slow, and it's just a matter of getting the left and right hand working together. It's difficult to pick all in a, in a downward motion, so just slow it down. Just do the five, the five string version of it. Just the. part of that is there's a certain amount of palm muting that goes on where's the palm the, with the palm of your hand that kind of deadens the strings that kind of gives it that that a little bit more rolly sound where it kind of deadens out the notes from ringing out too much together so hear it hear the mute Combination. It's a combination of some palm muting and getting a nice steady stroke through it and then getting a nice little whip at the top of it. So anyway, uh, I know that was a little sloppy, but uh, hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and uh, hopefully that uh, that helps you guys out and, and hopefully I can see... Uh, see some of those in you guys in the video you guys post so anyway uh love you guys and love the gpc